On Saturday the 3rd of November, the President of the European Commission, Jose Manuel Barroso, started a four-day visit to Asia. He began the visit in Myanmar, where he met with President Yutain Sein and the Speaker of the Lower House, Tura Shui Man. He encouraged Myanmar's leadership to continue to nurture and strengthen democracy in the country, listening to the needs of the entire population and to continue releasing the remaining political detainees. The president then held talks with the Nobel Peace Prize winner and opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. He expressed the EU's full support to the transition process in Myanmar after decades of sanctions against military rule. Finally, he attended a ceremony in the recently established peace center in Yangon, co-financed by the European Union. In his speech at the center, he announced that the EU will commit another 100 million euros in support for national reconciliation and inter-ethnic dialogue in Myanmar. Visiting this peace center now, and after my meetings today with President Tenzin, with Speaker Schuman, and with Do Aung San Suu Kyi earlier today, I can say that peace and reconciliation are within reach in Myanmar. Europe has learned over its history that the road to peace and prosperity is a long and difficult one. Thanks to visionary leaders driven by a culture of tolerance and cooperation, the reality is that stability and prosperity have been spreading over Europe for the benefit of its citizens. This is also what we need, I think, to be seen would be achieved in Myanmar, a lasting peace that can support a thriving democracy and increase prosperity for the benefit of all the population. Peace, democracy, and inclusive development are all part of the same equation, and one will always be incomplete without the other two. We need peace, democracy, and development. And today I want to solemnly affirm that the European Union will stand with the government and the people of Myanmar as you are working for a lasting peace based on national reconciliation and mutual respect. While expressing concerns about recent tensions between Buddhist Rakhines and the Muslim Rohingya minority, President Barroso called for an end to communal violence in the country. Clashes between both communities have led to the killing of dozens of people in Western Myanmar since last October. He also recalled Europe's readiness to mobilize four million euros for immediate humanitarian needs, provided that access to the affected areas is guaranteed. A few hours later, on Sunday, the president traveled to Bangkok in Thailand. During his first official visit to the country, the president met with Prime Minister Yengluk Shinawatra talks focused on strengthening political, commercial, and investment relations. Both leaders stated their firm commitment for an early conclusion of the partnership agreement and the launch of negotiations on a free trade agreement in early 2013. At the press conference after the meeting, President Barroso also stressed the importance the EU attaches to political stability in Thailand. He commended the determination of the government for national reconciliation and encourage them to spare no efforts in this regard. He praised Thailand for its proactive role in improving the collaboration of ASEAN countries, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, and encouraged even greater results in this area. On Monday, President Barroso continued traveling to Vientiane, Laos, where, together with the President of the European Council, Herman van Rompuy, he participated in the 9th Asia-Europe meeting, ASEM Summit. The two-day meeting, offered the opportunity to discuss the economic and financial situation on both sides and ways to restore strong, sustainable, balanced growth in the world. Particular attention was paid to free trade agreements and their potential to increase prosperity through further opening of individual economies. European and Asian leaders agreed to back free trade and resist protectionism as the best means of helping Europe out of its current economic crisis and assuring future prosperity. The European Union expressed a keen interest in pushing through new free trade agreements, similar to the ones recently reached with South Korea, with India, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore and Vietnam, to boost trade between the two regions.
The leaders also addressed important global issues such as climate change and the green economy. President Barroso recalled Europe's vital role in Asia's recent development through development aid provided and reiterated the EU's strong commitment to Millennium Development Goals and the Rio Plus 20 conclusions. On Wednesday, back in Brussels, President Barroso, together with President Van Rompuy, addressed a joint message of congratulations to Barack Obama on his re-election as President of the United States. In their message, they expressed their hopes for further strengthening of the bilateral ties and joint addressing of global challenges including in the fields of security and economy. They underline that growth and job creation remain priorities on both sides of the Atlantic, adding that they will continue to work with President Obama to unlock the unparalleled potential of the transatlantic market.